Let's have some beer. Who? What? Be going down, people of the world. Thank you so much for joining me for yet another beer review. My name is Redbeard, and for the beer of the today, we've got a can of Laurel Lager by the Great Lakes Brewery in Toronto, Ontario, coming in at 5.0% ABV. This is the last of the beers that was purchased for me by the amazing individual that used to work for Stack named Andrew. Thank you so much, Andrew. I want to say um, I enjoyed every single one of the beers you got me. There wasn't a bad beer amongst them. And this being a lager, I'm assuming it's going to be pretty tasty as well. Whoever did the labeling on this one made a little bit of an error, but you know, not the end of the world. Uh, part of their seven barrel series, apparently. 25 IBUs, whatever 54, 4, 11 means is also a thing. But uh, yeah, it's a lager. Let's crack her open. I'm assuming it's going to be pretty decent. I tried their Restrained Jubilation Hell's Lager quite recently, and that was pretty damn tasty. So a regular lager, they should have no problem nailing that as well, I'm assuming. Let's get some actual decent head on there. Aggressive pour. Not too aggressive. Well, perfect pour. Thumbnail. Really, really crazy kind of interior carbonation type stuff going on in there. Like a little vortex of bubbles. Hurricane of bubbles. Bubble cane. Nose into head. Awesome. It smells like a lager. Very kind of bready, biscuity, malty notes going on. It smells good. Let's give her a shot. Yeah, probably more head than actual liquid right there. Loggery, a little kind of maybe a bit of a metallic taste going on, but you can never fully judge something by the first sip. And this one, like the freaking head on this, you can't really see that, but it's it's really bright and white, but it's super tight packed like a a stout would be kind of thing. It's it's really weird to see. And just the carbonation flying off the inside of that. You see that going on? Yeah, you can see that. It's crazy. It's crazy. Let's do this. A cheers, everybody. And all of the cheers to Andrew from previously Stack Brewing. You're a great guy. Need to get you over here again soon and have you be a guest. Haven't had a guest in a while. I'm lonely. Definitely got more liquid that time. Almost up. There's a bit of a fruity presence going on there or something. That's highly unusual in my mouth there's nothing specific about this beer this is their like kind of generic wrap for this beer and they put this tiny little paper label on it because it just says 20 c of 20 c 2017 2017 marked 30 years of Great Lakes brewing great beers. To celebrate, we gifted ourselves with 7BBL Copper Brewing System, which allows us to continue crafting, collaborating, and creating cleverly named beers for 30 more years. Sorry. Um, yeah, there's nothing really specific on there. This was canned. It appears to be something... The 17th of January of this year. So it being a lager, that should be, that's, it's fine. It should taste pretty much just the way it's supposed to. The head on this is insane. 
This is like the head on an overcarbonated beer. It keeps replenishing itself. Like, it's almost mesmerizing to stare at the bottom layer of the bubbles and just watch the new ones come and add to the... Yeah, get hypnotized. It's crazy. I want to say this, I believe this is potentially a little overcarbonated. It still is just going absolutely insane. I don't know what would cause that aside from like, it's a clean glass. I never ever do a video without a pretty freaking clean glass. So yeah, I don't have a dishwasher. All my dishes are done by hand and I do a very good job of making sure my glasses are scrub clean every single time and then they air dry. So, yeah. I don't know. It's interesting. Great Lakes Brewing dot beer. Nope, Great Lakes Beer dot com is the one I'm going for. This isn't my first beer tonight. We're bringing it to Great Lakes Brewing dot com. Nope, Great Lakes Beer dot com. I can't talk anymore. Check him out if you're in Tobacoke and I can take a break and call myself or something. It's not bad for a lager. It's all right. Like again, there's there's a bit of an overlying kind of metallic taste to it, so it's not the best lager I've ever had, but it's not bad. It's just kind of seems maybe a little bit off or something. I don't know. Which is surprising because Great Lakes is usually on top of shit like that. Um, 3.53 3 out of 5 overall on Untapped with 79 ratings and that's the only set it was found on. So this is obviously a relatively small batch beer that again, thank you so much Andrew for getting this my way. Excuse me. Carbonation on point. Um, yeah. Not the first beer I've had tonight. Not super sober. Hiccups might be trying to creep up on me. We'll fight them. For his drink number the last. Great Lakes Brewery. Your L'Oreal Lager. L'Oreal. Lori. Laurel. L'Oreal. Like a freaking beauty, a beauty shampoo company or something. I don't know. Laurel Lager. Six and a half. It really just didn't really, really do it for me. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't really up there for me. Surprisingly. Anybody watching, if you had this particular beer, let me know in the comments what you thought of it, because that's the end of this video. <clears throat> God damn it. It's trying to kill me. If you like this stuff, smash thumbs up in the face. If you want to see more, make sure you're subscribed and all that fun stuff. Bell notification, blah, 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 blah. And I'll be back with something like this pretty soon. Peace out. I feel like some kind of mild windstorm happening outside right now. It's kind of cool. I might get to watch a tree fall on my neighbor's house or some shit. Which wouldn't be cool. But if I recorded it, it'd be a cool video, I guess, or something. I need to sleep. <laughs>